Today we have brought you the latest Tesla news. Tesla app update shows vehicle sharing features could come soon. Tesla will start Cybertruck production at Giga Texas with new quad motor variant. Tesla China recalls 21,500 Model Ys over front and rear steering knuckle issues. And, Tesla finally kills the long-range, rear-wheel drive Model Y. Let's get into all the details. So let's get started. Tesla is set to update its smartphone application with new features that would enable vehicle sharing between drivers, and it could be on the way very soon. Tesla vehicle sharing has been the plan of the automaker for some time, especially after its mass-market Model 3 and Model Y vehicles became scaled and have been under regular production for several years. The two vehicles are Tesla's most popular and would be the most ideal candidates for vehicle sharing features that would allow owners to make reasonable sums of money by simply loaning the cars out. In the past, Tesla has estimated that vehicle sharing services, along with the company's robotaxi fleet, could make owners up to $40,000 per year. Over the years, Tesla has slowly added features that would hint toward an eventual vehicle sharing program. In April 2019, CEO Elon Musk confirmed that Tesla's cabin-facing camera would be used to monitor occupant behavior in the ride-sharing and robotaxi programs, which come from vehicle sharing. It's there for when we start competing with Uber or Lyft, and people allow their car to earn money for them, as part of the Tesla shared autonomy fleet. In case someone messes up your car, you can check the video," Musk wrote. Additionally, in April 2020, Tesla launched the car access feature, which allowed primary vehicle owners to add drivers to the car, giving them permissible access to the vehicle. This essentially gave the new driver access to the Tesla app, letting them control the vehicle from anywhere. Tesla app iOS on Twitter tracks updates to the Tesla smartphone application, and new software coding showed that vehicle sharing features could be introduced. Ultimately, this is likely another step toward ride sharing, robotaxi, and general vehicle sharing services. However, Tesla is nearing the introduction of autonomous vehicles with every mile driven, thanks to its neural network. Its full self-driving equipped vehicles, especially in the beta program, are accumulating vast amounts of data that make the vehicle's performance more accurate and robust. Eventually, this will lead to level 5 autonomy and the eventual introduction of the robotaxi fleet. The features could also be ideal if a vehicle is being borrowed, especially if the primary owner can limit features and see how their vehicle is being treated with the cabin-facing camera. Moving to the next update, Tesla will start Cybertruck production at Giga Texas with new quad motor variant. Tesla CEO Elon Musk confirmed that the all-electric Cybertruck will have a quad motor variant which will take production priority at Gigafactory Texas when manufacturing begins. Musk also stated that, thanks to the Cybertruck's front and rear wheel drive modes, the pickup will be able to move diagonally, like a crab. Tesla's Cybertruck was unveiled in 2019 and was supposed to have three powertrain options for purchase, a single, dual, and tri-motor. However, after over 1.2 million pre-orders for the Cybertruck had been accumulated, Tesla essentially shut down the Cybertruck's online configurator, giving the impression that major changes were to come for the all-electric pickup. Evidently, rumors started to swirl that Tesla would scrap the single-motor variant in favor of a quad-motor powertrain, which would join the dual and tri-motor setups Tesla already is offering. There is no evidence currently that Tesla will completely ditch the single-motor powertrain, but it had the least amount of reservations on the online pre-order tracker. It appears the quad-motor Cybertruck will have four independently controlled motors attached to each wheel, just as the Rivian R1T has. This increases the Cybertruck's performance in off-road settings and are when confronted with challenging terrain. It increases torque vectoring and response as well, which makes the vehicle more confident when it is traveling over tough road conditions. Musk also stated that the front and rear wheel steering capabilities will enable diagonal driving, like a crab. GM has indicated 
that their Hummer EV will have crab mode, which effectively will help the vehicle improve its capabilities over difficult terrain. After Tesla shut down the configuration options on the Cybertruck Design Studio, most knew that changes were likely on the way. Moving to the next update, Tesla China recalls 21,500 Model Ys over front and rear steering knuckle issues. Tesla China has issued a recall for 21,559 domestically made Model Y due to a fault in the vehicle's front and rear steering knuckles. The recall covers locally manufactured Model Ys produced between February 4 and October 30, 2021. Tesla filed a recall plan with the state administration for market regulation. From now on, some domestically made Model Y electric vehicles with a production date between February 4, 2021 and October 30, 2021, will be recalled, a total of 21,599 units. For some vehicles within the scope of this recall, due to supplier manufacturing reasons, the strength of the foot and rear steering knuckles may not meet the design requirements. The steering knuckle may be deformed or broken during the use of the vehicle, and the suspension link may fall out of the steering knuckle under extreme stress conditions, which affects the driving and control of the vehicle, increases the risk of collision accidents, and poses safety hazards, an announcement about the Model Y recall read. It remains quite unclear if the number of Model Ys announced in the recall only accounts for cars that were sold in the Chinese domestic market or if it already accounts for units that were shipped abroad. Gigafactory Shanghai is Tesla's primary vehicle export hub, after all, and the facility has been shipping the Model 3 and Model Y to territories such as Europe and Asian countries over the year. With this in mind, it seems safe to assume that some of the Model Y that Tesla China has exported to foreign territories might have been fitted with faulty front and rear steering knuckles. That being said, Tesla is quite known to respond fairly quickly to vehicle recalls, so it would not be surprising if the company releases more details for any affected China-made Model Ys that were shipped to other countries. Moving to the last update, Tesla finally kills the long-range, rear-wheel drive Model Y. There has been yet another development in the saga, that is the long-range, rear-wheel drive Model Y, and by the looks of it this one, might be the last. According to the account status of Randy R., who placed a reservation for the car on the day it was unveiled, on March 15, 2019, the long-range, rear-wheel drive configuration is no longer available and cannot be delivered. Adding insult to injury, his only option is to change to the long-range or performance variants, but if he does so, he loses his day one reservation pricing. As a result, he will be forced to pay today's much more expensive pricing, which in his case amounts to a difference of $13,000, as his configuration included full self-driving. Randy is not alone. We've been able to confirm with multiple other reservation holders that they are now seeing the same order status in their accounts. If Tesla has finally cancelled the long-range, rear-wheel drive Model Y, hopefully they are able to come up with some way to accommodate these early reservation holders. Tesla has been holding on to their $2,500 deposit for over two years, an amount that would be worth a lot more if they had invested it in TSLA shares at the time instead. That's it for now. So what are your thoughts about this? Let us know in the comments. Stay tuned at the electric arena for all the latest Tesla and electric vehicle news.